so now double click on this hibernate configuration file we have to create this connection between database and hibernate using this hibernate.cfg now we have to customize this hibernate dot configuration file so open this hibernate dot configuration dot xml file and click on this source here let us go to the source and once you are in the source let us have a look at this file let me increase the uh, width of it so that you will be able to see the text clearly I'm going to make it bold and then 14 and then click OK and apply it so now this becomes much more clear now if you notice the first one is the connection dot driver class this is configuration file now what is our driver remember we copy pasted in the note uh, notepad the driver uh, for us it is the org dot apache dot derby dot jdbc client driver they have used uh, hsqldb but for us we are going to use the org dot apache dot derby dot jdbc driver so just copy this and paste it here inside the properties the next step is the connection url that also we had copied it while setting up the database connection so let us copy that entire thing remember we changed the name of the database to hibernate db so that's what it is here so let's copy and then paste it right here that is the connection url if you remember our username was user and password was password password was password now that's it now you can leave this as it is connection dot pool size as two now what is this dialect all about what is the dialect for derby to find out what is the dialect for derby or for whatever the database you're using you can go to this hibernate 3 that our user library you can see that it is there somewhere in org.hibernate.dialect so go and search of that org.hibernate in that hibernate3.jar let me go and search of that hibernate3.jar in hibernate3.jar you can see that in org.hibernate.dialect you have all these dialects for hsql dialect for HSQL DB, this is the dialect. So for Derby, this is the dialect. That is org.hibernate.dialect.derby dialect. So let us go change this to Derby dialect. And then click on save. Okay. Now here for this current session context class let us put it as thread we will see why it is thread later on I will explain to you like why we are giving this property as thread and rest of them we can keep it as it is the show SQL true that means like you know whenever like we have the SQL statements running inside hibernate it will show up in the log so let's keep that true this one is drop and recreate the database schema on startup let us comment this out the reason is uh, we are going to like recreate the database inside the code not here in the properties file and here mapping resources I think this one they have used the configuration file but we are going to use the JP annotations so let us comment out these three lines we don't need these three lines so we can just click on source and add block, block comment so we have commented out all these three lines recreating the database we are going to do it in code and the mapping file we don't need it we are going to use annotations so the rest of them remains the same <coughs> now what is the use of this uh, dialect that is even though SQL uh, is like you know universal SQL statements it differs from database to database like you know a SQL like simple SQL statements will run the same in every database like select asterisk from or star from 
employee table uh, it will run in all the database but then when you go to joins and all those things each and every database has a different way of writing the particular SQL statement. So what happens is Hibernate needs to know which database you're talking to so that it will create the SQL statements for you in that particular dialect of that particular database. So that's the reason for this uh, Derby dialect. So now we have actually completed the setup, the Eclipse database and Hibernate uh, setup. Uh, once again, let me do a quick review. Uh, to set up Eclipse, we first uh, downloaded and installed the JDK and then the Eclipse. And then for the database, we downloaded Derby and then like, you know, we went to the bin directory of Derby and double clicked on start network server dot bat. And that started the database. To configure this connection, the Eclipse to database connection, what we did is we went to this uh, Eclipse and we went to Windows Open Perspective and then we clicked on Other and then we selected the Database Development and clicked OK. Here I created a new connection and you can like you know you can go and uh, look back at the video if you are uh, if you forgot about it. So and then like you know I made the connection this one like my computer just crashed so I am making the connection once again and once I create the connection that completes the Eclipse and database connection to do the Eclipse and Hibernate what I did was I first created a user library to create a user library I went to Windows and then I went to preferences and over here so for connection between uh, Eclipse and Hibernate what we did is we went to the uh, preferences, Windows preferences, we selected user library, we created a new user library and we added all these jar files to the user library and then what we did is we went to the particular project that we created before and to the project we created we added the particular user library. We to add the user library what we did is we went to the Hibernate example project we clicked on properties and over here we went to Java build path library tab, and then we selected add library user library and we went on like that okay good the next step that we did was if you remember it was the database and Hibernate connection to do the connection we copied like hibernate.cfg.xml from an existing project that came with the download and after we pasted the hibernate.cfg.xml we changed the values here in the connection.driver class from what we received these values while making the database connection configuration and the connection URL username and password and we changed the dialect and this session context class to thread and we also commented out this uh, database schema recreate the database uh, and the event and person all these configuration files so this completes the setup so we are done with the setup of uh, Eclipse database and hibernate